Hey folks, this is Decor, your resident entertainment techie. Hope everyone is doing well. A new version of MAME is now available and like the previous version, it is coming with some huge and very exciting updates. The biggest highlight of this update is the new sound system. MAME now has native support for WS API, which is associated with the Windows operating system and Pipewire, which is tied to the Linux OS. These are interfaces that communicate with applications and audio devices. With the latest audio feature, you get options for high quality resamples, control over audio devices for both input and output, and there is even multi-channel support as well. I've done a video in the past about surround sound emulation, so this news definitely got me excited. I'm only aware of two arcades with multi-channel audio. I can confirm the cockpit version of Synstar is working. There's also the Sega Model 1 Star Wars arcade cockpit version, which used a subwoofer, but I unfortunately don't have one to test it. You will now find options available in the game menu and there is so much more you can do with audio that it really boggles the mind it's even possible. Obviously, audio improvements aren't the only thing that this latest update has rolled out. In the last update, MAME had big improvements for Sega's Model 2 hardware and with the latest version, more improvements have been implemented. Daytona USA in particular has gotten some fixes along with other racing games. While 3D is certainly getting a lot of love, 2D is still getting just as much care and attention. There's been a lot of work on Konami's TM and T and TM and T2 based hardware. Devastators, a game that I recently played for the first time, is one of the games that has gotten major fixes, which included collision detection and enemy behavior correction. Galico Arcade Hardware has probably gotten the most updates for the latest release, adding new versions and fixes for some of their arcade titles. While I'm not familiar with many of their games, there were two in particular that caught my attention. TH Strikes Back was a game that instantly stood out to me. When I first took a look at this game years ago, it definitely had graphical issues, but that is now a thing of the past. I also took a look at World Rally, which is a game that I've been trying to track down for years, but I never knew the name of. There is a prototype version that is now available. I'm so glad to see MAME reaching new milestones. I know more improvements are on the way for Sega Model 2, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for audio emulation now that we have native support available on Windows and Linux. If you enjoyed the latest update for MAME, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing as I will have more news on MAME and other emulators as well. For now, this is Decor, your entertainment techie, signing out.